iPhones. Work on my laptop. See, like, let's pretend this is a uh, <clears throat> a practice run for Count Gregor. All right. So if I have my phone, I can push record and talk to him about back in the day when Polly was on there, his ape friend with the leather jacket. I say, I remember them days. I used to stay up late and watch those flicks and stuff. And, uh, yeah, it'd be cool just to talk stuff like that with him on my podcast that can go live that'll promote where he's at. We'll probably have to do it before, or like right now. This will be on the podcast if you want to do a plug about these slave owners of yours. <laughs> man, they lied to you, man. See, we could talk about that. Or we could just flip the script and just kind of be fake to the audience and say, you know... We're going to have Kent Gregor over here. Heck no. If anybody wants to escape the Matrix, you got to understand that you already got a corporation on your driver's license. But people don't care. But those who do, they already know. They look up YouTube, straw man. Uh, they get a law degree, but don't take the oath of them frauds. Uh, just get it for the knowledge. You know that you know what they know. I mean, that good book says, "Know thine enemy." Well, you better know, because that's enemies the devil, according to that good book, Satan, Lucifer, Beelzebub, uh, Leviathan, all that. What is that? Battery going down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, lesson to be learned, folks. <laughs> Charge your phone. Put it on silent, mofo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but we're live anyway right now. But, but then when you lose your phone, you can't find it. Isn't you that the truth? Yourself, and we have somebody silent. call you. Shoot. I don't know. I get panicked because this is my business here. <clears throat> this cell phone allows me to talk to the people that are in the digital realm in that dimension versus B to B. This is business to business with you here with me. You're trying to develop your own business. That I'm way to help you with the land. I well, mean, we're I can't not there. Work. Yeah. You ain't working like that. Like that. <laughs> You'll see this is lounge clothes. Yeah. Well, we're, we're in doing inside house. stuff then. <laughs> <laughs> for your safety. You gotta like have steel toe boots and, yeah. You got an extra set? I can throw those on. No, those ain't protecting you. Those are just water boots. Yeah, I do have another set. See? But anyway, See. your business, you got clients that call you and you're not even, you know, on the clock. What are you typing? What did you just type there? I drummed. Oh, I thought she was typing. That's how she texts, too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't text. I talk text. Yeah, that's Android for you people. <laughs> okay. But just imagine, though, here's here's the gist of it for you live people on podcast. Um, there's no value in free. So I was sharing with, the gorgeous lady of Moore, but really is Mustang, but it's really South Oklahoma City. <laughs> she just tries to put herself in a better uh, mindset, I guess. <laughs> a Mustang. No, you're not. You're right there by the airport. <laughs> but still, it's on the outskirts. Well, what's that? What, what does that mean? Can't be on Mother Earth. You just got to be from Mustang. Got to get the gist. It's a mindset thing. Like people in Norman, even the homeless people with the name I live in Norman that puts him in a status that's different from the homeless in Oklahoma City <laughs> for real do you got the Norman homeless and you got the city homeless which one has better status the ones in Norman really yeah who doesn't want to live in Norman that's OU <laughs> you know I mean come on man it yeah. just knowledge just freaking flows out to the streets you know you can't help it. All the education comes out to the Donut King. It comes out to Taco Bell. It comes out to the disc golf course where the homeless are at. All this wisdom and knowledge just leaks out all over Norman. But not where you're at. 
For real, look at it. Where you live right now, you don't get this information. The homeless are smarter, way smarter than you. Oh, I do. From where you live. Because there's no information flowing to you. It's a dry land of wisdom. Nothing's there. You're just a slave. There's a lot of uh, people I talk to on MacArthur. Mm -hmm. You know, MacArthur 940? Yeah. That's a major... I met a girl named Sarah there one day, or I think it was Samantha, actually. Sarah's my daughter's name. Mm. And she was digging in the bushes right there by that hotel, that green hotel. It's On the left side? Mm -hmm, on the... If you go north, it's on the left. It'd be on, like, the east. east of oh, MacArthur, right side. Or, uh, yeah. East of MacArthur. And, um... And it'd be a long conversation... It's interesting. I mean, my they know things. Was homeless for a while. Well, check out the homeless in the city when they get up on their phone. They find Wi-Fi hotspots all over there, mm -hmm. and they don't have no contract, no nothing. They just yeah. know little places, little symbols, things like that. We call it in the street chiefs. <laughs> the the Gotta be smart. like my Kim folk, they're out there, but they choose to be out there. Mm -hmm. They can be out here on the land too. They have land. They have stuff. You get a tent, TV, whatever. But, you know, this has been taking advantage of them, too, because look at me. I got a law degree, and I'm just like them. Nomadic. But I have land. They do, too. They're just not out there. I was gifted this travel camper that would try to turn in a coffee shop. I got to get that generator. So if y'all want to donate, <laughs> we're really liking that Furman dual uh, fuel source. It has propane and gasoline. So that's always good to have two ways to fuel your generator. It's an Absolutely. inverter that could do more things than just sitting in here. <clears throat> coffee machines right here. Even if it's just regular coffee pots or even if it's a Keurig, right? Even that, you know, I have a variety of ways to make your own coffee. For two bucks. I don't care. Bring in. Hey, if you remember the days of gloves, they have that big old Kong cup. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I could do that here with my Mick James mugs. You, you just come in for two bucks and whatever. Fill it up. You could have a press. You could have a Keurig. You could have. Well, I could have. I'm just having these ideas. But I could set it up right here. Put this as a couch or a lounge or some chairs where they can watch the podcast. They kick back right here and watch from five to six the podcast. I'm already going live anyway. Sonic, they ain't helping me out. They ain't sponsoring me. I need to freaking get a hold of them. Why don't they give you coffee in the morning? I mean, just the fact that you're like, I'm at Sonic. I'm at Sonic. I'm at Sonic. You know, every need, now and then, here's a franchise. Because each one is a franchise. <clears throat> so let's say you... You decided you wanted to get into the burger business. So you go right downtown in Oklahoma City and say, Hey, um, I got a business plan and I like your model and I want to do this. I got a group of idiots that will flip burgers. And stuff. <laughs> oh, good. So you're smart like us. Great. What locale? What's your competition? What hours? Blah, blah, blah. And so they're going to give you that booklet right there. Of all that stuff. So I'm going to pretend you paid $50,000 for this information. <laughs> so, yeah, pretend. <laughs> I'm trading out. I'm going to go plow some grounds. <laughs> Whatever. Bartering is great. She's just really to play hooky. <laughs> 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 Wait, there's a laughing button. <laughs> <on there. laughs> is there like the but, audience? Yeah, like right here. You say something funny, you can push this. <laughs> Or you can applaud like in the morning. Welcome to the Loincloth Legend. Anyway. <laughs> so they hear the applause. But if we had earbuds, or if I had my laptop hooked up with my Yeti here, like I'm saying, I could do the podcast right here. I put this on live on TikTok while I have my laptop that's run by a generator where I go live on my laptop. Mm -hmm. With my podcast being broadcast behind the scenes on TikTok that you could read the questions that I say on the podcast. And here's coffee. So between five and six, there's no competition for coffee right down the road or even right here or in a teepee or wherever. 
but this is mobile. So when people come in to get this coffee, this is already going to be up here. I'm already going to be doing my podcast. You might as well hang out and drink your coffee or you can leave, whatever. But if you have the Mick James mug, $2, man, pick whatever. You can work with this. I see lots of potential definitely. No, I just got to get Let's the generator. Go. Okay. Let's go. So. How are we going to get it for you? Let's do this. Well, use your imagination. What do you think? I've, I've, I'll come up with something. I was thinking about selling these. Or maybe these could be auctioned off at Count Gregor's thing. Could you do that since you're the CEO? <laughs> 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 